Hello, I'm James Investor from JPS Reliability and also of Reliability Maintenance Solutions Limited RMS. RMS have been a vendor for and supplier and use of Emerson equipment for many, many years now, from the 2115 to the new 2140, the online system 6500, and also the new wireless system. Now, this presentation is to show you a more of an educational one about peak view and how you can use a PV technology to um, resolve or find any lubrication issues before you get any defects with your rotating assets. So this one is actually on post maintenance, where we did a survey post maintenance at a plant where we actually detected the fitters uh, mechanics had installed the incorrect grease. On this site, as part of the, uh, the site's maintenance philosophy, after any major outage, you do a full vibration survey on the assets just to make sure that there's none of the human errors have been come in no one's put nothing back together wrong or there's no risk of any infant mortality on these assets and on this one we actually detected an issue with some of the fan bearings through the PP technology where the actual contractor um, installed the wrong grease background is we've got a critical plant fan lay shaft about two meters long on a variable speed drive. It has an operational speed of around 1220 RPM just to keep the flows right. Historically it goes 5 RPM around that. And we have 22224 EK taper roller bearings. So these are like so big four bearings, you know, big taper roller bearings. And part of the annual maintenance when you have the shutdown is they take the caps off, clean out all the old grease, check the seals, put new grease in, and then she goes back online. Now one thing with fans which people tend to overlook is they think a grease is a grease, like it says EP2 or it says, that one says EP2 and it's the same EP2 grease, that the grease is not a grease. There are so many different variations in the types of grease. Now, one thing to take into account is a DN factor. Now, a DN factor is a multiple of the shaft median diameter by the speed, and then you times it by another factor. So, for example, table roller bearings, two ones, you times it by three. So this has actually got a really high DN factor. It's really, really good quality grease. So when the bearings are working, there's enough oil, soap, viscosity in there to make them work or not skid. This here is um, a photograph of the analyzer on site when we were there. And um, as you can see here, we were well shocked to see, we've never actually seen it before, um, a lubrication factor be this high off the scale and a mechanical one to be so low, you expect them to be both high, but never has this happened. So straight away when we were at the acid, we thought, well, if something is wrong with this, there's a lot of friction in there. Back at the machine, we pulled the trend up. Um, you can see here, we have a high-ish, but relatively stable trend, historical trend. Last time on slightly greased it while we were there and it came down a little bit good. So we're trying to control that. And then this up here, would you believe it, is after maintenance. Well, you would expect it to come a lot, lot lower after the, the, the grease has been changed. Now, this is the time waveform. Now, the time waveform, the PV technology is actually gold. It, it is where you can do some severity assessments. So on here, we can see here that like the carpet level is pretty flat, got a lot of noise, and not many periodic signals or defects or impacts or activities going across there. Now, this is the autocorrelation of the peak time waveform. Now, autocorrelation um, is one of the new things that, unique things that the Emerson software has on the Machinery Health Manager. What it does is it takes the time waveform, um, as long as you have the speed set correctly and you validate your data, it flips it over and basically sees what is periodic, what is reoccurring, and what is friction, which is when based on the PP Technology Plus, which gives you straight on the analyzer. When we run it in the software, it is at absolutely flat there is no impact on that bearing it is pure skidding friction and a lot of noise so I thought, well how can that be they, you know, they said they packed the bearing correct amount of grease the more amount of grease went in there so the grease that was cited by the contactor the contractor we could say was not the best dn rating for this application and what's happening is this due to the size of the bearing and the force in that bearing it's literally breaking our grease down so the soap 
and you're always starting to separate. So we asked them, what, you know, what grease do you think? Well, we use the correct grease. Look, look, it says here at the top front. Well, when we looked at the specs of the grease and what the viscosity is and the additives, well, it actually said, this grease is recommended for industrial marine applications, chassis components and farm equipment. Its sticky formulation stays in place. So from that, you can see this is more of a stickier grease for pins, links and changes. It's not good for a fan going that fast with that shaft diameter. So thank you for this short, listen to this short presentation, but it's just to say how to use PeatView technology and the new PeatView Plus technology and um, how it can probably save you a lot of money and it is a really good technology to use. Thank you very much.